All right, guys, we're at Western Iowa Tech today, and we're going to uh, pressure test this radiator that we got off eBay. A um, little, little disappointed in the first uh, first inspection of this radiator, and on this particular bike, it's off a GL500 Honda. It's kind of just a pain in the butt to get it on and off. It's not hard. It's just a little time-consuming, and if we went through all the work of putting this on, and then it leaked, we have a lot of wasted time where we'd have to redo it. So what we're going to do is demonstrate today how to test this before it's on the vehicle with a few different tips and tricks. So I'll get up here on the camera too. And we can kind of see where we have some pinched over areas that we're really concerned about. But our biggest concern, the one that's of most worry to us, is we can see the inlet here on in the radiator is actually pulled out a little bit. That doesn't mean it's broke, but we definitely, uh, we definitely aren't happy. One of the things that we've used over the years to uh, just plug some of these hoses is if you got some uh, broom handles laying around, you could take a hose clamp and these broom handles happen to fit these radiator hoses pretty good. Our idea here is, is that we're going to plug our, our inlet and outlet like it would be on the motorcycle and we don't need to worry about this overflow because the tester of the regular radiator cap is going to seal this up. Does that make sense? So I went around and looked at some of the stuff that we had in kind of our our junk drawers. And one thing that, as soon as I started looking for stuff, I found some uh, items that um, I always tend to save that end up being pretty handy for this. This is a bar end out of a motorcycle we parted up. It goes on the end of the handlebar. That would fit in there nice and we could get our hose clamp around. And another thing that a lot of you guys are throwing away when you work at the dealership, when you buy a pair of aftermarket grips, how many people have seen this before? Okay, you guys have seen this, I see it in the video there. It's just this cheap uh, replacement bar end. It has a little bit of value if you crash the bike, it'll you know, keep it off the ground a little bit, a little less damage. Now this doesn't look like it would be that great, but if we flip it upside down, we just need a little bit of sealing surface. And then we'll go ahead and we're gonna put a hose clamp around here. And if we're not happy with how this is working, we can uh, switch it to something else. Does that make sense? Then I found this, I don't know, some type of clamp for something, but it just happened to fit our hose here. So I need to put my clamp on first. Go ahead and shove this in here. And we're going to get that all in there. Um, another thing about this radiator that we are crazy about is one of those spot welds that broke for the actual mounts here. So that's going to require us to do some welding, uh, which we shouldn't have to, should we? So, you know, ideally this is looking like it's going to be a return. Now, here's our pressure test. It's by stand. Um, this is from the automotive world. We have some different adapters. On this particular one, this is the, happens to have the larger inlet. So we don't have to worry about it. We can go right from the tool onto this. One thing that I like to do and have been in the habit of is I like to spray some soapy water around the radiator itself and then also the tool. Um, I want to keep this rubber seal good and lubed up. And as I notice as I practice just putting this on and off, I'm getting a lot of rust on the tool. If I have enough rust, is that going to create a leak? Yeah, it will. So we're trying to do a little bit of problem prevention here. I'm going to go ahead and put this on just like a radiator cap. So when you put a radiator cap, do you have to fully, can you do me a favor and just hold that so don't bang it around? When you put a radiator cap, you fully seat it, right? This little guy right here, once we build some pressure, we can push this up and that'll release the pressure. So Danny, go ahead and pump that up and maybe turn yourself so the camera can see that. Uh, if we have the radiator cap handy on this, most every vehicle out there, uh, you see somewhere around 15 to 17 PSI um, for a cooling system, a pumper up to like 17 or something. So we're holding pressure, that's a good sign to start with, right? Mm -hmm. So ideally what they'd say, per the service manual, is they'd say to leave this on here and you shouldn't lose more than like a pound an hour. That's kind of a general specification. But what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna check my fittings. If I have any uh, bubbles here, it just means I have a leak here, right? Are we holding? We're still holding. Okay, so I'm gonna go around this one. Okay, now actually, is this, this is the part I was really concerned about, or is it just the hose itself? Take a look at that. What are you thinking right there? Hose. That's looking to be the hose. So what I'd want to do is take this clamp off, clean it, re-put it on, and get that to stop leaking. Does that make sense? But here's another thing I like to do. is I'm going to go ahead and spray around these other areas that I had some big concerns for. I'm not seeing any soapy bu uh, bubbles. I'm getting a lot right here, so it tells me it works, right? It tells me I got enough solution in here. We'll I'm going to go around the rest. We'll drop the pound. Okay. And we're leaking quite a bit out that fitting. I'm not seeing anything else. 
But now we're going to show you the ultimate test. So go ahead and pump that up a little bit more. What are you at right now for PSI? Uh, I, down, I got down to 17 right now. Okay, put crank her up. That's good. All right, now we're going to walk over here together. And what we have is a tire testing tank, and this thing is great because now we've just submerged the whole thing. And let it sit a little bit, but you see how we're getting bubbles in there? I don't know if you can see that on the camera. If, if my other areas that I'm worried about or uh, I'm afraid are cracked or broke, it's going to be that obvious. Is that pretty cool? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it looks like we got a leak in my fins. Where are you seeing that? <clears throat> oh, yeah. Yeah, so this, this, what a great example. I'm bummed, aren't I? I'm bummed. We've been wanting to get this thing going here, but this radiator's junk. Uh, I'm going to send this video to the eBay, company off eBay and tell them that, uh, that it didn't work out so well. So uh, they look like they had a good return policy, but really it's a big waste of time. Although, uh, although it's a waste of time, how much worse would it have been if we would have put this on the vehicle? Man. Yeah, it would have sucked. So guys, that's it. That's how you pressure test a uh, radiator before you put on. Being kind of creative with some different ways to plug uh, your inlet and outlet hoses. And I guess we got to start over again. Bummer. All right, that's it.